What's up guys, Carlos here, and uh, today I have a review for you guys on the Condor Outdoor Tool and Knife um, Carpenter's Axe. So, right here we have the axe. I'm going to go over the sheath first. Um, so here's how the sheath fits onto the axe. Just a standard sheet, uh, leather sheath. It has the Condor logo right there. Not sure if you can see that. But um, it doesn't fit on the axe. This is supposed to go down right here. But it, it it's up here for some reason. So I'm going to have to stretch that out with water or something. Hot water. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But overall, it's a good sheath. It's It doesn't move up and down very much. You might get like a few inches here or there. But it's not that big of a deal. One thing I don't like about this is that there's no belt loop on it, so I have to actually put this on my backpack and not on my belt, which kind of sucks. So let's get rid of this piece of leather and I move on to the axe. So I'm going to give you the tech specs on, well, not this axe, but the materials. I'm guessing this is four inches. Yeah, about four inches, th three, I don't know. So it's 1060 high carbon steel, um, and it's heat treated to 45 to 50 Rockwell, which is a measurement of hardness. Um, the handle is made out of American hickory, and uh, yeah, they're meant to be durable. Uh, hickory is one of the hardest woods uh, that I found. The grains are almost vertical, not really, but you can see there that they aren't diagonal, they aren't um, horizontal, so that's good, I guess. But uh, yeah, it has a cutout right here, so you can get in with your hand in there and do some finer work. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the, the axe itself. But um, the one thing I don't like about this axe is it comes with all this writing on it. So, quick fix. A little sanding will do that. And uh, I also don't like that it has the name imprinted on the head because I was thinking of redoing the handle on it. And, yeah. The one thing I do like about the the, the, the head shape is it's it's a good mix between a splitter and a cutter. As you can see, it's not perfectly a uh, straight and narrow but it's not perfect but it's not um a wedge either so that's what I like about it I also like the edge on it a lot of people that came like big here and then it went down but mine actually bends kind of like that so I'm just gonna have to use a puck to uh get all get that out and it won't take very long So this is 18 inches long. So if you can picture that um, around the size of a 13-year-old boy's forearm, and a lot of people have been saying about this axe, it, the handle's too thick for them to hold. And this is grown men we're talking about, like full-grown men. 13-year-old boy, hold this fine and chop. Yeah, I am very happy with this axe. Um, one thing I would recommend them not to do is not leave the little space right in here because I believe that will make it less sturdy, but you know what? I think this is a decent axe for the price. I think I got it for $40 off of, don't remember the site. Yeah, and for any of you Canadians who are into this kind of stuff, and you don't have a store near you that carries axes, um, this does clear customs. Um, the last couple axes that I tried to order, they didn't clear customs, that's why I didn't post a video for a long time, because I was so frustrated, but uh, yeah. So that's basically what I've got on this axe. 
So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you, and bye bye